So we got uh, billionaires in a space race. Have you heard about this? Who is the billionaire? In, Trump's in space now? No, not Trump. Although that wouldn't surprise me. His ego uh, cannot be contained by this atmosphere. But uh, Sir Richard Branson. Uh, oh, Virgin win, Mobile. Wins the uh, space race, uh, the billionaire space race. Uh, he was in a space race with Jeff Bezos. And uh, it looked like uh, Richard Branson was ahead. And then Jeff Bezos was ahead. And then uh, uh, Virgin Virgin, in, what is it? Virgin Galactic yep. dropped a video uh, showing that they were going to have their their international or their uh, outer space flight. The first one, they listed all the astronauts that are going to be there and they go three, astronaut two. And then they get to astronaut one will be Sir Richard Branson uh, testing out the customer experience, as he says it. Would you take a, would you take a space flight? I wouldn't take the first space flight. <laughs> no, I wouldn't take the first one. Like, good for him. Yeah. But like, why not? I would take the first. I take I take a space flight if you were like, hey, you can get to you can land in, in Frankfurt, Germany in, in 12 hours with a couple of layovers, or you could take the Virgin Galactica and you're there in three hours and you get to see space. I'm like, fuck. The the real Look question is the real question is is I mean, how much money are you going to have to have before it's like, yeah, I'll blow a couple mil going up in outer space. At that point though, if you need to get there that quickly, I don't think you really give a fuck. With money. But I don't know if you're, well, you're not going anywhere. You're just going to space, right? It's a, it's a vanity project to go into space. I think, I think that I remember a few years back, Richard Branson said he was going to make it affordable, only like a hundred thousand dollars or $150,000 to go into space at some point. At what point do you got to have enough money to be like, yeah, I'll, I'll spend one hundred and fifty thousand dollars to go into outer space? Like, how many millions do you got to have in the bank before it's like that's that's a fun little vacation to do? I'm trying to think. Like, I've seen. You know what, man? I probably I'm retired and I look at it and I've got you know I'm looking at it and I got you know four million. I've got my shit coming in. I'm making you know. I go. You know what? Fuck it. Maybe I do go. Maybe yeah. I just say you know what? Yeah. Fuck it. You know, because here's an example. It's a hundred thousand, man. And you bought your house at two hundred and fifty thousand, and you sold your house for let's say seven fifty, because that's the way the market's going right now. You're like, I bought my other house for four. You don't want to move in a hundred thousand for once in a lifetime to go up to space to say you went. Yeah, I'd probably do that. Okay, so we we agree. I mean, what you're you're kind of getting to what I was going to ask is we agree that millionaires are probably going to do this at some point. But what about like the middle class? You think the middle class are going to like, there, is there going to be a lot of people in the middle class who are going to be like, you know what, we'll take a vacation in outer space for a bit? Well, it wouldn't even be a vacation, right? You're basically going in, you're, you're coming through the atmosphere and coming basically back down. Sure. You know what? Yeah, if your heart can take it, like mm -hmm. I, I... Obviously, it's your heart. You got to be in there. You probably, we're physical. probably... The only time you're going to see that for middle class, winning tickets, like you buy tickets to like the health of the hospital and they go, number one is a trip to space. Okay. Yeah. Like, that's a that's, good point. That's like one you probably go to. If you're in a very rich company that needs to blow a lot of money, like they need mm -hmm. to get a million bucks off the bank and they got to go, we'll do it as a company retreat. You could definitely take one into space that way. But like, like the average, like, the average welder and teacher probably not going to go to space. Yeah, like, I agree. I agree. If you're, if you're a single person and you don't, you, your house is paid off, you don't have a, an ex-wife that's sucking you dry, you don't have any kids, 100000 to you may not be a lot of money. You mm -hmm, may go, fuck mm -hmm. it. Because, like, I'm just thinking of, like, vehicles I see now, like the average Dodge fully up is 70 Gs. So for another 30 Gs, you can go to space. Yeah, it depends on what you are, right? Like, you know, if you drive a if you drive a 2012 Toyota Corolla, and you're happy with that vehicle, and you don't want the seventy thousand dollar vehicle, but you you squirrel away cash. Why not? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I think you're right. I think you make an interesting point. Is we're probably not going to see just any Joe Blow uh, going into space for the experience, but uh, we'll, but we'll probably, probably we'll probably know somebody. Like we'll have a friend or or somebody will go. I just got back from space. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that you're you're probably going to see honestly. Maybe not our generation, but you're going to see kids who grow up hearing about that experience and saying, one day I want to do that. And they save their whole life. And that's sort of the pinnacle of their uh, their their life is that they got to do that experience. Sure, you're probably going to see a few of those people. And you're probably going to see a couple people 
win these giveaways or whatever, but uh, you're not going to see like uh, a... But no, no, let's look at it this. Let's look at it from another way, my friend. Sure. Let's look at it as I'm sure when air travel first came out, yeah, it wasn't very, very cheap. And that's true. That's... So that's... are we... Is that where it's going to be like, okay, so... North Bay has one because they got a big enough runway. Kingston's got one. Toronto's got one. Ottawa. All these major centers all of a sudden start coming out with these these landing, like these runways. And then they go, okay. Now, the astronaut may lose its sexiness, if that makes sense. They may just go, a pilot. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, you say astronaut. You think of, like, the suits and the and the, you're the one of the only few that get to fly. Mm-hmm. I think this will take the sexiness away from that and going, you're well, a pilot. That's great. But I think it's going to become more and more in our lifetime, Adam, maybe, maybe mm-hmm. like towards the twilight of our careers, well, but like not, I don't like my kid will probably be able to do it. I don't. Yeah. yeah you, you make an interesting point is I do remember Richard Branson when this, when I first heard about this story sort of developing and he sounded crazy. Uh, he said the first few people are going to have to pay a lot but eventually as the technology gets better and cheaper and yada 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 it'll be uh everyone will be able to go i don't think i'm ever gonna go like w- would you do it would you be okay with doing it no yeah no, you listen man listen dude I-, I grew up in a little bush plane like as a kid i'm okay with that for some reason i'm okay with that but like to jump out of a perfectly good fucking airplane not a chance to go anywhere like in space if once you get up and you start going through and they go, oh shit, you're dead. Like they're like, just say a prayer. We're done. Like there's no chance of survival. Yeah, Nothing I'll, at all. I'll be honest. You brought up jumping out of a plane. I think uh, I'd be more comfortable jumping out of a plane than this, because when you're in space, you're kind of trapped. And, and I think for some reason, I don't know, I've been on planes. I've been okay with that. But I think that I would get a little bit claustrophobic and I might even start to freak out if I realized I was trapped in outer space. And well, that's, 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 that's it, it's a cool thing for some people, but I, I think it's just not for me. No, but here's another thing too, right? Like we hear of like a plane crash, like they, they happen when they get shot out lately with the, but you hear of a plane crash once in a while and you're like, holy fuck, a plane crash. And you, and you get all freaked out. Listen, man, you start throwing shit into space and you got to burn through the atmosphere. That's where you're going to get fucked. That's yeah. what I'm afraid of. Yeah. Like that, that's what I'm afraid of. Yeah, and what I'm afraid of is them rushing too much to make so much money that safety then starts to fall. Could you imagine if you believe in the afterlife and you're up in heaven and you meet all your friends and family and yada, yada, yada. And they're like, all right, how'd you finally end up here? And they're, you're like, yeah, I decided to do this experimental outer space bullshit. And uh, I, I gave my life to get, blown up in an experimental outer space va- vanity project well i got three seconds i got three seconds on cnn <laughs> <laughs> there you go all right so uh so yay or nay on space travel for me i'm gonna say no you know i i started out by saying uh there's an equation of how much money do you have to make if how it's much free desire if do it's you have f- to get to if um, it's free if it's free if I come up to you and I say, I say, we're going to go to space. I'm paying for it. You coming? Well, what do I got to do? Like fucking. <laughs> no, 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 I, no, I, no, I, no glory holes. No glory no, holes. No nothing, nothing's, nothing's free in this world is what I'm getting at. Actually for you, it probably would be free, buddy. Oh, but on. like if we were, but if we were, once we finally make it big in the podcast world, like I think I would spend some of the cash and go, let's go to space. So Jet, uh, not Jeff Bezos. Uh, Richard Branson discovers our YouTube show and he goes, uh, you know what? You guys have been bad enough with this space experience. Free trip to outer space if you got the balls. Uh, I'm right? in. I'm in. <laughs> I, I'm in too. I think, I, I think in that situation I would do it. The minute we get to outer space, I'm mooning the moon. Well, I was going to say the minute we get in outer space, you and I got to throw down. We're going to have, down first, we're gonna the, have the first fist fight in, in outer space. Fuck you, McGregor. <laughs> who's who's going to get me? The space captains? Yeah. Star Trek going to come and arrest me? But I know you're a hockey fan. Sometimes people talk about hockey. They punch and they sort of end up moving back on their skates. Can you imagine what that would be like in outer space? We're floating around. We're punching each other, but we're just pushing ourselves away from each other. That's Whoa. it. That's exactly what we would do. That'd be awesome. Whoa. Do you know how much <laughs> shit we'd get into? 